Hi, my name is David Corcoran. I'm a hypnotherapist and I'm going to help you stop smoking. Sometimes people will come along and they'll say, I'm scared of hypnosis. I'm worried that you're going to be able to suggest something to me or tell me to do something that I wouldn't normally do. That can't happen in hypnosis. Hypnosis just creates a very relaxed state of mind and body and allows suggestion to go down into a part of the brain where it will be acted upon. The best way of looking at hypnosis is not to see it as being a magic bullet, but to see it as being a very powerful tool. In the hands of someone who uses it on a daily basis, that tool can really make changes in the person's life. If they want to stop smoking, and for example, it's a motivation issue, then hypnosis can increase the motivation. If they want to stop smoking and it's anxiety about stopping smoking and how they're going to live their life after smoking, again, hypnosis can really help them to look at things and see things differently. There's lots of different products out there in the marketplace from patches through to chewing gum, inhalers through to sprays that you can put on your tongue. Each one of them is no more than a substitute for nicotine. They do have degrees of success, but there is nothing that is as successful as someone who wants to stop smoking and then is using a really effective tool to help them look at their smoking habit and deal with it properly. The thing is about people who want to stop smoking is that the smoke for lots of different reasons. To relax is a classic. To calm themselves down before uh, perhaps what they perceive to be a stressful event, or perhaps they're getting really uh, anxious about something so they reach for a cigarette. The reality of it is that when they reach for a cigarette and they take that first um, uh, tug on the cigarette, <gasps> In it goes into the chest and immediately, sure, it starts to promote relaxation because they start to go into diaphragmatic breathing, belly breathing down here. But then the next thing that hits them is this massive stimulant of nicotine. And when that hits them, all of the relaxation that they're seeking, that they're naturally going into because they've changed their breathing pattern, is immediately jeopardized. In goes the nicotine and immediately they become even more stressed or even more anxious. So regardless of the reasons that they want to stop smoking, the most important thing, the key factor in stopping someone smoking is that they want to do it. They really have to do it. They've got to want it. When they're at that particular point, that's where hypnosis is a great tool. It can help them look at their smoking habit in the right way and can give them increased motivation, increased confidence, reduced anxiety and alteration of the habit to get them to get exactly what they want. It's as simple as that. We develop programs in our mind and from time to time, those programs just don't suit who we are anymore. Hypnosis is great because what it does is it lets us go back in and alter the program. How does hypnosis feel? It's a really relaxed state of mind and body. And you just feel calm. That in that particular state, in that space when you're in hypnosis, that you are able to take suggestion and let it change the program. And when it changes the program, you get the result that you want. I love doing what I do because I've seen people make some of the most amazing changes. And it's not about me um, as a therapist it's about the individuals. They've got to that point where they want to make the change. They're a little bit confused about how to do it, but 
when they get to that particular point, then using the tools that I have available to me from hypnosis through to neurolinguistics, psychotherapy, whatever it might be, I can bring that into the conversation and really help the person that's in front of me, whether it's in my office and most importantly, whether it's over the internet and I'm working with them within their office, their home, their hotel room or wherever they might be. Hypnosis can be used remotely as effectively as it can one-on-one -on -one with the person standing right next to me. The really great thing about the internet is that I can choose to live where I want to live, spend time with my children, really enjoy my lifestyle and be at my peak when my clients need me. And those clients are from all around the world. So that's why I choose to use the internet. My name is David Corcoran. I'm a hypnotherapist and I help people stop smoking. Someone came to me on recommendation from someone I had seen in the past and they told me um, a lovely tale. The person I had seen in the past had been a smoker. Um, he'd been smoking 80 cigarettes a day, which is an awful lot of cigarettes. It takes a lot of time to smoke 80 cigarettes a day. I asked the person, how did you hear about me? And she said, well, interestingly, we were doing a parachute jump. And I said, okay. And the guy that had been to see me, who the 80 cigarettes a day smoker, was sitting on the tarmac, ready to board the airplane, to go and jump out of the airplane without smoking. And everyone in the crowd noticed this and noticed that this man had gone from 80 cigarettes down to nothing. And so they asked him about it. And he said, yeah, I went to see this, this man um, who is a hypnotherapist and he talked to me. Um, I felt very relaxed and uh, I walked away not wanting a cigarette. And they also said to him, but you seem very relaxed now and you're about to get into an airplane and jump out of it. He said, yeah. He said he dealt with my confidence at the same time. And I just feel very relaxed. In actual fact, I have a different way of dealing with anxiety now. That's a great story about someone who had gone from uh, spending an awful lot of money, uh, I think it was around £5,000 a year at the time on his smoking habit, and had not only changed his habit, but it also developed huge confidence in who he was, and also the ability to relax, calm down, and just really enjoy life, enjoy what was going on around him without the need for cigarettes. And a lot of people get very anxious about that. How am I going to enjoy my life without cigarettes, without something to hold on to? What am I going to do? What's it going to be like? And then the very next moment, they pick up a cigarette, they light it, and that's it. They're smoking again. So really, if someone is in them, that particular state, then the most important thing is, is to develop a belief um, uh, an understanding that, that, that life is going to be good. Life is going to be absolutely fine. They're going to be able to cope with life, no problem at all, when they come to that point of giving up smoking. But, as I keep on saying to people, you must want to do this. This is about you. It's about you wanting to give up smoking. You've reached that point where you're tired of it. You've reached that point where it's you're, you're sick of paying for it. You don't like the way your clothes smell, you don't like the way that your mouth tastes, you, you don't like the idea of holding a cigarette, it's tedious. You are bored with smoking. 
And you've got to that point where this is it. This is your moment. This is the time that you want to give up smoking. That's the time. That's the critical point where you can really make a change. Really make a change. And that's where hypnosis comes in. That's the point that hypnosis is at its most powerful because it's taking where you are, where you you are as far as your wants are concerned, and then it's using the power of hypnosis in the other hand and it's bringing them both together at the same time. And the person can walk away from that experience knowing, being confident in themselves that they have kicked that habit. And they've got solutions um, uh, that they can use in different situations that's going to allow them to feel confident, allow them to feel motivated, allow them to feel relaxed, allow them not to need the old habit anymore. And certainly not to substitute their spend on cigarettes towards a new spend on nicotine replacement therapy. And nicotine replacement therapy is very, very expensive. In comparison to one session of hypnosis, ongoing nicotine replacement therapy is almost as expensive as smoking. So, if you are at that point where you really want to stop smoking, if you are at that point where you are so tired of smoking that you feel as if you are bored with it, had enough of it, then that's the time. That's the time to use something that is really going to make a difference for you, to change. That's the time to use hypnosis, and it works. It really works. 80 cigarettes a day, down to nothing, happens just like that, if you really want it.